Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and today I'm here with a new typewriter. How did this happen? So in 2021, I sat down and made myself a list of resolutions as a typewriter collector. I wanted to hit a certain number of followers on my Instagram, Just My Typewriter. I wanted to hit a certain number of subscribers here on Just My Typewriter on YouTube, and I also wanted to thin out the herd. I had about 20 typewriters at the time of making that list, and there were a few in there I knew I just didn't need to have. I didn't use them very often, and I bet they would have better homes somewhere else. So I made it my goal in 2021 to sell off some of my typewriters. I went through my collection and found two to start with that I just wasn't personally attached to or hadn't used as often. I picked my 1940s LC Smith typewriter Super Speed named Weston, and then I also picked my 1970s Olivetti Linea 98 named Orso. Both of these typewriters actually needed some repair on them. Orso, the Olivetti from the 1970s, actually had a broken internal spring, so we did have to replace that. And then I had to do some just minor tweaking on the 1940s Super Speed. Both of these typewriters were fine in my collection, but I just had other machines that I liked using better that did some of the same things. So I decided to list them on some local resale sites here around my area. Now, I don't live in an area with a lot of typewriter collectors. There's a few and I have met them on Instagram, but I know that a lot of people in my area are just looking for typewriters for a more practical use of using them to actually type things and then also looking for them as decoration. So there's not people out there hunting and prowling the Facebook marketplace for typewriters to add to their collections and neither of the typewriters I was selling were very rare to begin with. So I decided to list both of these typewriters on Facebook marketplace because that's where I've had a lot of luck uh, finding my own typewriters and also contacting people to buy typewriters. And then I also listed them on the app called Offer Up, which is the updated version of Let It Go. I personally have never had any luck finding typewriters on this app, but I did have a friend find a typewriter for me for about $20 on Offer Up. So I know that there are typewriters that exist there. I didn't want to mess with shipping at all. I had sold some typewriter things previously. I sold a typewriter stand for about $8 on Facebook Marketplace. And then I also sold a Oliver cover for an Oliver typewriter that I found in an antique store for $6. I sold that for $20 on Facebook on the Typewriter Classifieds page, but shipping was involved with that and it was such a hassle. I know that shipping is dangerous for typewriters to begin with, especially heavier machines that require just a different packing to begin with. So I knew I wanted to sell these locally. I listed them on Facebook Marketplace and cross-posted that in a local sale group, and within a few hours, somebody actually messaged me to purchase the LC Smith typewriter. And on offer up within 24 hours, I did get an offer on the uh, Olivetti typewriter. So I had both of them sold relatively quickly. The next part of the process was actually meeting these people and giving them their typewriters. I wanted to give these typewriters or sell these typewriters to people who would actually use them. I didn't want them chopped up into jewelry. I didn't want them to be display pieces or painted over and left in someone's garden because I know how sad that makes me as a typewriter collector, knowing that those machines could be salvageable. And I did go through the process of repairing these two machines and putting new ribbons on them for these people. So when I met these people, I asked them what they were going to use them for. The Olivetti typewriter is actually going to someone who was going to be a writer, so I was really excited it was going to get used. And then the LC machine was actually going to a graphic designer who works with authors. So I thought that was a great placement for both of these typewriters. And I also recorded some of the day that I was selling the Olivetti typewriter, so here's a little bit of that. This place is a typewriter disaster zone. I don't know how it happened, but somehow I have... 18 of my 20 typewriters in my room right now um, So it's time to get rid of some I've been trying to sell this Olivetti typewriter for a couple of months now on Facebook marketplace And there's been no hits no bites, but I decided to post it on offer up last night Because um, I'm testing out that app and somebody immediately messaged me and wants this typewriter So today is the day that Orso gets a new home and gets to go somewhere Where he's going to be used and loved and taken care of appropriately so I'm very excited for him to go home. I'm also a little nervous. It's my first typewriter typewriter sale. Um, so it'll be exciting to see how this goes. I also, cause I'm a weirdo, <laughs> typed the new owner a note on the typewriter and was like, here's his name and his history. Kind of like adoption papers for my typewriter. 
uh, it's just I'm a little sad to see him go because he's part of my family um, but I think it's time for him to go someplace where he's going to be used and the guy who's purchasing says that uh, he's going to a writer someone who's looking to get into writing so that's exciting hopefully he'll be happy in his new home so for this one I'm actually meeting the seller at a gas station so I have to put him in a box to kind of keep him safe in my car to get him to the next place. And I had to put wood underneath him because he's so freaking heavy. Look at him all ready to go to his new home. Gonna miss you, buddy. Goodbye, or so the typewriter. Bye-bye. My big fears when it came to actually selling these machines were that I was going to be sad when they were gone, they were going to go to the wrong places and get destroyed, or that the people who had given the typewriters to me would feel bad after I had sold them. I actually bought the 1940s typewriter in a collection of other things. There was an electric typewriter which was broken and a typewriter stand and I bought all of that for $40 and then the Olivetti typewriter was actually gifted to me. But when I sold these typewriters, a lot of those fears went away. A, because I knew they were going someplace where they were actually going to be used and appreciated. I wasn't afraid of key choppers anymore at that point. And after I sold them, I actually felt good about it. I wasn't worrying about the void of my babies leaving my home. I felt good that they were going to places where they were going to be more appreciated than they had been within my own collection of other typewriters. And it freed up space for me to get new typewriters. I'd sold these typewriters on January 20th and January 25th in 2021, and on January 30th I was stupidly in an antique store and found this typewriter. It was the last antique store of the day, it was the last booth in the last aisle of the store, and this typewriter was in its case upside down on a bottom shelf. If you're a typewriter collector and you know what typewriter cases look like, you can walk into a store, see a case from afar, and know immediately that it is a typewriter. I unfortunately have this skill now, so when I was walking around, I knew immediately when I saw this case that A, it was upside down, and B, it was a typewriter. I opened it up, it was $15, and it looked pretty clean. It was a machine that I had never owned before, it was a portable, I was very happy to have it, so I had to have it and I bought it, and I brought it home. It is still in the repair phases, but I'm very happy to have it in my collection. It's a lot smaller than the two typewriters I sold, but it does mean that my number went from 20 to 18 back up to 19. So I'm not so sure I'm really doing my resolution any favors. That being said, as a collector, I'm not afraid of selling my typewriters anymore because I have had this positive experience and I feel good about where they ended up. I'm not missing them in my collection and I know that they're being appreciated where they are. So I'm happy about that. And it does give me, again, more room to adopt new babies. So if you guys are interested in more typewriter content or some more typewriter stories, subscribe to this channel. I also am interested in hearing some of your typewriter stories for buying and selling typewriters, so feel free to leave me some stories down in the comments below or DM me on Instagram at JustMyTypewriter. I want to thank you so much for watching today and remind you, you're just my type, writer.